For more information, check out my blog, dukai.com. Follow me. Hi guys, today's video is going to be a two-in-one makeup tutorial. So let's start with this look first. I just popped my contact lenses in and I'm sorry guys, I don't know the name of them. They were just in this case and I have nothing on my skin except for my Parsali Volcanic Elixir. I'm going to start with my foundation first. I'm mixing these two L'Oreal foundations and I'm blending them together onto the back of my hand to create my perfect shade and then I'm going to put that all over my face and blend it on with a Sigma foundation brush. I've been really liking this foundation brush. I kind of use it for everything lately. Then I'm going to buff that in a little bit more with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Then I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to highlight these centers of my face and I'm taking this down in a triangle shape on my under eye so that I can really brighten that area up because I'm not going to be contouring. I really want a really bright summery, nice makeup look. So putting that on with the foundation brush that I use to apply my foundation and then I'm going to blend that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. All product names and details will be in the description box below like always. Then I'm going to work on my brows while that foundation and concealer just kind of sit on my skin for a little while. I'm taking my Sigma Brow Wax and I'm just running that through my brows, brushing them through with a spoolie and I'm very lightly filling my brows in. I'm not doing anything too crazy with my brows, I'm just filling in the sparse areas which is the front of the brow and the very top of the brow with MAC Brun Eyeshadow. Not changing the shape or anything like that, just filling in the sparse areas and the brows are done. Now let's work on the eyeshadow. This is Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer. Just putting that all over my entire lid. Again, all the product names and details will be in the description box below. Now I'm going to be using one of my favorite MAC eyeshadows of the moment. And I'm going to take my favorite eyeshadow brush to apply this from Sigma. And I'm going to push this all over the entire lid and really build up this color. This makeup look is so simple. It literally looks like you put so much work into it, but it's just one eyeshadow. So just really blending that all over the entire lid and packing that color on. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up the exact same color and I'm going to buff this into my crease. Now using a fluffy brush applies less color and it gives more of a wash of color whereas using a flat brush really makes the color payoff show. So when we use the fluffy brush it's going to look like we used a different eyeshadow but honestly it's just one eyeshadow and that's what I love about this makeup look. It's just so effortless and it looks like you put a lot of work into it. So here I am just taking that same color and buffing it into the crease and making it nice and smooth. I'm also going to be taking this color onto my lower lash line using the first brush that I used. Told you this look is very very easy. <laughs> One eyeshadow, that's how I roll. <laughs> Then I'm going to take this really beautiful bronzy eyeliner from Urban Decay and I'm going to run this all over my waterline. This is just going to make the eyes look more sparkly without making them look smoky. I want it to be really nice and bright and summertime-ish. So once you do that, the eyes are done for the first look. So I'm just going to apply my mascara. This is the L'Oreal Miss Manga, which I am in love with. It has replaced three mascaras for me, so I'm really loving this right now. I'm going to be applying this onto top and bottom lashes. Once the mascara is done, we can start working on the face again because the foundation has been sitting there for a little while and it's nice and molded onto our skin. I'm going to take my Too Faced bronzer and I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm not contouring with this really. It's more of a contour bronze. So I'm using a fluffy brush to apply this so it's not so chiseled. And this is going onto the cheekbone, the temple, the jawline, the hairline, and the very tip of my nose. Like I said, I'm not contouring my nose either. I really wanted this look to be glowy and summery and fun and effortless, so skip the contouring. <laughs> Then I'm going to take one of my favorite highlighters, this is by Hard Candy, and this is their Tiki Bronzer, which is, it's not really a bronzer, it's definitely a highlighter. And I'm going to take my fan brush, and I'm going to apply this onto the tops of my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, and the tip of my nose, and this is just going to add to that glowy look that we're going for. Then for blush, I'm going to take one of my new faves, um, this is by Becca, this is Shimmering Skin Perfector. 
And I like to use this as an eyeshadow, a highlight, and a blush. It's just such a versatile product. And I'm just gonna blend this going back into that bronzer that we applied a little earlier. And then the face makeup is done. I love this color. I just, I have no words for it. It's such a beautiful product. Now I'm gonna work on the lips. I'm gonna take my Jordana Tawny Lip Liner and I'm not being too precise with my lip line because I'm using a bold color. I just wanted something to lip line my lips. Then this is the lip color that I wore in my June Favorites video that everybody was asking about. It is a drugstore lipstick and it's by Wet n Wild. The name will be in the description box below. So just applying that all over my lips. This is such a beautiful color. I'm obsessed with it for the summertime. And I'm gonna top that with this lip gloss by Sigma called Sheila. I'm not normally a lipstick and lip gloss kind of girl, but I'm digging it lately. I'm digging glossy lips, so just applying a nice wash of that lip gloss all over the entire lip. And there is the entire makeup look done. The eyes are very simple and effortless, and it looks like you put in so much work, but really you didn't. And there's the lips and the entire face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or this makeup tutorial, because now we're moving on to the second look. So, if you like this look, which so many of you guys requested a tutorial, it's pretty much the exact same makeup with just a few things different. So, I'm just gonna take off that very bright lipstick with a baby wipe. Once the lipstick is off, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blot out my lips and mute out my lips and remove most of that color. Then I'm going to line my lips more precisely this time with Jordana Tawny Lip Liner. This is a very beautiful color. It's pretty much like your lips, but better. Now that the lips are lined, I'm going to apply my first lip color, which is going to be Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 02. I talked about this in my June Favorites video as well. I talked about this entire lip combo. It's just such a beautiful lip combo. I love these cream lip stains. They're so long wearing, they're not drying at all, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. So applying that all over the entire lip, and then I'm gonna touch up my Cupid's Bow highlight a little bit, because it got wiped off. And then I'm gonna top that with my NYX Butter Lipstick, and I don't know the name of the color. It will be in the description box below. But this color combo is just gorgeous. It looks so beautiful in person, and it just lasts all day. It's so long wearing. So there are the lips done. Now let's just fix up the eyes. I'm just gonna grab my L'Oreal eyeliner, which is my favorite of the moment, and I'm gonna line my eyes. I'm gonna be doing a pretty heavy winged look, and oh my god, doing eyeliner when you have mascara on is just so... <laughs> Hard. I was having such a hard time because the eyeliner pen kept getting stuck in my lashes and my na lashes kept getting knotted up and I was like, oh my god, but honestly this look is just exactly the same so I wasn't willing to take it off and then do it all over again, so we're going for it. So just lining my eyes, I'm doing a medium thickness winged eyeliner, but I'm making sure that I keep the inner corner very thin. So just work on both eyeliners and the entire look is done. I told you it's very, very easy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave a comment below and let me know which one of the looks is your favorite. I think I'd have to go with this one right here because I'm just a fan of nude lips and I think you can wear this look with everything. It's so pretty. So leave me a comment below. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!